peat is much cheaper than wood. The USSR had the largest peat reserves in the world. During World War II and after it, trees were scorched or cut down. Engineers tried to save what was left and ran gasifiers on peat briquettes. They wrote explicitly about it in post-war books on gasifiers. But there was a big problem. The peat ash melting point is lower than that of wood, and instead of normally turning into gas, the fuel fuses with the ash into lumps, and the gasifiers immediately stop working. In order to power vehicles with peat, new gasifiers had to be made. And they were made. But what to do when there are already thousands of vehicles adapted for wood cubes from 4 to 8 centimeters in size? And it is necessary to drive not on wood, but peat? Soviet Army Captain Rotmistrov invented a sophisticated device which enabled powering these vehicles with peat briquettes. Look at it. It's a kind of convex or concave insert in the gasification chamber throat, which allowed the peat ash to flow down in a molten state. This eliminated the problem of clogging the gasification chamber with cindered ash. Tests showed that even the reduction of the active zone did not really increase the tar content of the gas. Peat itself has higher reactivity than charcoal. It is also slightly more caloric with equal ash content because it contains 9 to 10 percent less oxygen because oxygen escapes while peat decomposed in the ground. Therefore, reducing the reduction zone by more than half is not a problem for such a gasifier. See you.